Hello, my dear NEET warriors. This is your Captain Shreyas. Do you know that so many students year after year lose their marks and probably even a year because of incorrect bubbling in spite of studying properly and solving all the questions in the exam? I don't want you to undergo the same thing. That's why I'm making this particular video. All the do's and the don'ts and the toppers and the rankers way of bubbling. It might seem like a very small or an easy peasy thing, but trust me on this, it can actually make or break your NEET examination. So let's hear it out. And yes, before I forget, do not forget to, you know, subscribe to the Vedantu NEET English channel so that you do not miss on any more strategies, tips and discussions which are going to go on. And yeah, also do not forget to like because then YouTube will understand you are interested in NEET preparation else it will distract you by showing other videos. So for more neat videos, make sure you are also liking this particular video. The first thing that you will do as soon as you get the OMR sheet and the question paper booklet and you have not yet opened it, the bell has not yet rung, is you're going to fill your roll number and other details, write your signature name, whatever those things are and complete it in that duration. Do not hurry it up, do not make mistakes because you are not going to get a second chance or a second OMR sheet, right? So take your time, fill it coolly and relax yourself. Once the bell rings and the paper starts and you start solving, then you have multiple options. Should I solve the question serially and then keep on bubbling? Second option is like an ultra legend pro max, solve the entire paper and leave it towards the end. But if you try to be an ultra legend pro max, usually the chances are you might end up losing a lot of marks because the paper might just get snatched away. You will lose track of time. So my personal recommendation, never keep the entire neat paper or your entire year's worth of preparation towards the end. That's a huge risk. Now the problem of solving one question and then bubbling, then the next question and then bubbling is actually distraction. You solve a question bubble, you are finding the option, finding where the question is. You're getting distracted and that will happen. Just imagine 180 times. You don't want to do that. Why do you want to get distracted 180 times for those 180 questions? Rather do this. Let's say the first subject you have picked up is botany and zoology. Let's say the entire biology. So solve the entire biology part and then take a break for five minutes before moving on to the next subject and carefully bubble all the answers that you have thought. Then solve the next subject, say example chemistry, take a break for five minutes. It's not a useless break. Anyways, you would require some time for bubbling it before moving on to the next subject because obviously the exam is going to be very, very grueling. You might get fatigued, right? So before moving on to the last subject, make sure you bubble all the second subject answers on the OMR. But keep in mind for the last subject, don't keep all the bubbling part towards the end because chances are again, the paper might get snatched off. So for the last part, solve in groups of five or 10. So after every five to 10 questions, you can bubble it. That way you are assured that even if something goes wrong, max to max five to 10 questions might be only lost, not the entire subject or the entire need paper. Got it? So that is the best optimum strategy for bubbling. Second thing that you should be very careful with. When you are marking the bubbles for entire subject, inadvertently, subconsciously, without even knowing, you might keep on marking it sequentially but maybe you have not solved all the questions. Maybe after question number one and two, I've directly solved the fifth question, two questions I did not know the answer. But maybe you might mark the fifth question's answer in question number three. So that is something you need to be very, very careful about. Make sure you're marking the options for the right question. Say it aloud or say it loudly in your mind or whisper it to yourself or else you might get caught thinking that you're cheating. So question number 14, option B, question number 14, option B. Okay, question 14, option B, right over here. That's a way 
to avoid those kind of mistakes. Another way to avoid, you know, mistakes while bubbling is put a small dot and that is allowed. Let's say these are the options. You can definitely put a small dot. If you think for question number two, option should be D. For question number four, let's say option should be A. That's perfectly fine. The OMR scanners can't detect any small dots on the paper. It only detects when it is filled completely. So that way you're also ensuring that you have an option to change your answer in case you realize your mistake. Say for example, I thought the answer for question number two is option D. But maybe while going through the paper or you know, while I'm bubbling, I realize, oh, wait a minute, there is a problem in it. And I realize, no, the answer is C. Then I can immediately switch the dot. But remember, if you had bubbled this up completely, then there is no way you can cancel this. You cannot do this and then say, okay, let me bubble this. No, OMR is not going to consider this. In fact, it will avoid you negative one. So be very careful about this. You cannot mark multiple options. You cannot cross it out. You cannot punch a hole in the paper. All those things might even lead you to disqualification. You don't want to waste a complete year because of this. Now, having said this, I hope you realize that you can use dots so that you can change your answers and also you know that what you have marked. Some people also think, can I not just mark the answers on the question paper? Think about it. Yes, it's perfectly fine. You can mark it on the question paper without making it very evident. Again, you know, you don't want to uh, make the examiner think that you are copying or disclosing the answer. There is some amount of time wasted from you looking in the question paper, checking the answer and then again looking at the OMR sheet. Rather, when you solve the question only, okay, question number three, the answer was one, okay, or option A. You put a small dot. So you're not wasting further time again looking at the question and you know browsing through all the pages out there all right and it also helps you to you know keep a check that okay maybe you know what i might have to come back to this question again and you are not so sure about this particular answer you just leave it as a dot you don't have to bubble it sometimes you can leave the last 10 minutes of your question paper okay there are few questions which i was never sure about I will come back to those dots later on. So it's perfectly fine. Even if you do not bubble all the questions, two, three questions in every subject, you might just leave it for review towards the end. All right. And if you are not able to, you know, uh, guess what the other answer should be or what changes could be there. Okay. You know, okay. Yeah. I had already put those dots. Most likely those are the answers. You can just end up bubbling it. Now, when you are bubbling, be careful. Obviously, these kind of bubbles are not allowed, half filled bubbles or just putting one circle or, you know, just going completely outside. No, these are the things which are definitely not allowed. Your bubble should be something like this. Now, when you do that, obviously, again, you're wasting a lot of time. So what is the best way to speed up this process? The best way to speed up this process is very simple. You just draw the outline along with this circle. Just draw the outline first and then fill inside. Now you know that you have to stay inside that boundary. So it's very quick and very easy. So what is the step? Just draw the boundary and then quickly fill it up. So you know you're not going to go outside the boundary and you're just going to stay within the limits. So that's an easy, faster way of bubbling. That's going to obviously save a lot of your time. Even if in every question you save, let's say around, you know, two to three seconds. So you can imagine for 180 questions into three seconds, that's a lot of time guys, which you can save and better utilize for some other questions, right? Now, these are the things that you need to follow when you're bubbling for your NEET examination. And I hope you're going to use these strategies, right? Now, all the do's and the don'ts that I have told you for the upcoming NEET exam. But even after this, there are good chances you will make mistake. So the, my final and the last step is actually download or get or buy these OMR sheets or if your institute is providing it, nothing like it and practice at least 
two to four mock tests on these actual OMRs. And let me tell you, Vedantu is giving this for absolutely free of cost. Where? It's on our, you know, all India level mock test series. Yes, at the Vedantu Learning Centers. So there is a link which is there in the description box, which you can click and you will see that link will allow you to enroll for absolutely free of cost for the all India level mock test series. And these are happening both online as well as offline. So when you choose offline mode, you can go to our centers for no cost at all, get those mock tests and solve it in a proper exam environment. Yeah. And the Vedanta offline centers are there at many, many places. So I'm pretty sure you would be very happy to give these tests and with the proper feel and look and the proper experience of the actual NEET examination, right? So spread across many centers across the country and coming to your nearest city very, very soon, right? So use these all India level mock tests, which have predicted questions, right? Cool. So those were the tips and the tricks by your captain Shreyas. I hope you like them and I hope you're going to enroll for the mock test so that you get more additional practice as well. Thank you so much. This was Captain Shreyas signing off. Hasta la vista.